when I think about what those definitions are, capitalism isn't, to me, is, it's an ideology of capital. The most important thing is the concentration of capital and it means that we seek and prioritize profit and the accumulation of money above all else and we seek it at any human and environmental cost. That is what that means. No, wrong, so wrong. It's exactly backwards. And I'll prove it to you. Been on Amazon lately? Each of the thousands of products Amazon offers represents the work of people who believe they have something you want or need. If they're right, they prosper. If they're wrong, they don't. That's how the free market works. It encourages people to improve their lives by satisfying the needs of others. No one starts a business making a thing or providing a service for themselves. They start a business to make things or provide services for others. When we talk about ideas, for example, like democratic socialism, it means putting democracy and society first instead of capital first. In a socialist economy, the government has the ultimate power. It decides what you get from a limited supply it decides should exist. Instead of millions of people making millions of decisions about what they want, a few people, government elites, decide what people should have and how much they should pay for it. Not surprisingly, they always get it wrong. Have you ever noticed that late-stage socialist failures always run out of essential items like toilet paper? Because at the end of the day, as workers and as people of society, we're the ones creating wealth, not a corporate CEO. It's not a CEO that's, make, that's actually creating $4 billion a year. It is the millions of workers in this country that's creating billions of dollars of economic productivity a year. I speak from personal experience. When I was the CEO of the company that owns Carl's Jr. and Hardy's restaurant chains, we spent millions of dollars every year trying to determine what customers wanted. If our customers didn't like something, we changed it and fast. Because if we didn't, our competitors would, pun intended, eat us for lunch. The consumer, that's you, has the ultimate power. In effect, you vote with every dollar you spend. And that's why the emphasis in democratic socialism is on democracy. Capitalism leads to economic democracy. Socialism leads to the economic dictatorship of the elite, always and everywhere. So beware what you ask for. You just might get it. I'm Andy Puzder, the author of The Capitalist Comeback for Prager University.